Hello everyone. Topic in this video is process scheduling. What is process scheduling? So first of all, let's understand what does it mean scheduling. So when we say I have scheduled my tasks, so what does it mean? That means you have a lot, a lot of work to do, and you are just ordering them itself so that you can complete that particular task in minimum amount of minimum amount of time with efficiency okay for example you can uh, if there are 10 tasks that you have to do and uh, you come in one case you are completing it uh, in five hours and uh, with same efficiency with another type of scheduling you are performing the task in just uh, three hours so the second one the later one is uh, i can say best scheduling okay so when we talk about a process management so as in concept of multi programming we have to schedule multiple processes so that each process gets cpu to to be executed okay so let's see what is process scheduling in process management it is the activity of a process manager that it handles suspension of uh, running processes from CPU. Now, suspension of running process from CPU, that means whenever particular process is, run, uh, is uh, executed by CPU and due to some reason this process get suspended, then it is the process manager which is responsible to handle that scenario, okay? and this process manager has to select another process on the basis of particular strategy for example if i am doing something okay and for whatever reason i have to i i have to hold i have to uh, put that particular task at the held state so i have to i cannot be idle okay so it is just a waste of time so i have to select another task to complete so same goes with cpu also cpu also cpu it 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 uh, it it should be allocated to other process so that we get maximum cpu utilization okay so this whole activity is known as a process scheduling this part of operating system that makes the choice now of what choice of choosing what which process which process will be selected for further execution okay so there are certain strategy so that particular process gets selected and it gets cpu execution for its uh, execution so that choice is called as a scheduler so part of the operating system that make the choice is called scheduler so basically there are different scheduling algorithm so basically they are just a strategy okay so and this strategy refers that particular base so uh, on which you can choose any process okay and all this strategy follow certain rules algorithm used by this scheduler is called scheduler algorithm Process scheduling, it is essential part of a multi-programming in operating system. Now, multi-programming itself means executing multiple processes, okay? So, whenever there you have multiple tasks to complete, scheduling has to be there so that it can complete with maximum through output and uh, in minimal time. So, what should be the goal of uh, any scheduling algorithm okay so if i see you have 10 tasks to do and you have 10 hours okay so each task each task require some minimal amount of time for example uh, i have to complete this chapter one so it requires some minimum time at least okay it can be like uh, increasing uh, like increment or decrement something but it has some minimum time to complete and all these processes have some time so you can uh, you have to consider certain parameter so if i say you have to design certain scheduling criteria scheduling algorithm so that i can get this task task completed with minimal time so you need to 
टेक केयर ऑफ सर्टन पैरामीटर वाइल डिजाइनिंग एनी स्केड्यूलर एल्गोरिथम सो वट आर दिस वट आर दिस पैरामीटर सो फर्स्ट वन इज फेयरनेस गिविंग ईच प्रोसेस अ फेयर शेयर ऑफ अ सी पी यू नाउ वेन एवर देर आर कलेक्शन ऑफ प्रोसेस इन द सिस्टम देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ अ प्रोसेस इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर सर्टन प्रोसेस इज which uh, which uh, which are based com, com, which are completely calculation based they don't require any input output okay and there are certain processes which require less calculation but require more io interaction okay so fairness that means each process each process get share of the cpu equally okay they should not be discriminated that's all after that balance keeping all the part of system busy so your uh, your algorithm it should be it uh, it keeps all part of the system for example your cpu your memory your drive okay and various extra resources it should be equally used so that you can get maximum utilization of particular resource after that through output that means number of processes that are completed per time unit so your algorithm it should be it it should give maximum through output turn around time time to execute a process from submission to completion so basically i can say turn around time is if so uh, if certain process comes into the system let's say at time is equals to 10 okay and it gets it it get completed at time is equals to 20 so turn around time for that particular process is 10 okay time to execute in particular system to uh, uh, to come into system and to complete to get completed okay so that duration is called turn around time so you can see turn around time is equals to process finish time minus process arrival time let's say there is one process that comes into the system at t is equals to 2 so that t is equals to 2 is arrival time and its execution finish at t is equals to 10 so 10 minus 2 that is equals to 8 so 8 is turn around time after that cpu utilization it is percentage of time that the cpu is busy in executing the process now let's say one process comes into the system at t is equals to 2 okay but it gets its cpu at time t is equals to 5 to the t is equals to 8 so 5 to 8 is the time when this process is actually get executed by the cpu okay so this time is cpu utilization keeps cpu as busy as possible that is our main key parameters of scheduling algorithm after that response time a time between issuing a command and getting the result now whenever i uh, response that means if certain process wants to uh, uh wants to get cpu it comes into the system it arrive into the system at let's say t is equals to 0 okay but it gets cpu at t is equals to 5 first time so t is equals to 5 so that means from 0 to 5 it was just waiting okay so t is equals to total response time it is five that is its response time now waiting time amount of a time a process has been waiting in the ready queue okay now whenever a particular process is waiting okay so total of its waiting is total waiting time whenever process has been waiting for cpu in ready queue or for whatever okay it can be io requirement or it can be another resource requirement so basically waiting time is equals to turn around time minus actual execution time okay now after that there are three types of operating system queues now let's see so first one is job queue okay job queue 
Now let's see what is job queue. It store all the processes in the system. So basically, uh, you know, in system, various processes are executed. Okay, it can be it can be I/O burst or it can be CPU type or that means there are certain processes which require only I/O requirement. Okay, and there are another that require cpu that means calculation type and some are mix of that but in job queue this all the processes are goes into this job queue okay after that ready queue now in ready queue it set every process residing in the main memory which is ready and wait t waiting to execute so this is your ready queue so you just need to remember ready that means this process is just ready for its execution but it is waiting to execute and it is waiting for cpu to allocate to it after that device queue now whenever a particular process is waiting for io that means input out input output or it is uh, it is uh, for example it is waiting for printer okay but printer is busy it is, which is used by which which is being used by some another, another process so this process has to has to wait and it should be uh, it should be directed to this device queue okay process that is blocked because of some absence of an io devices so these are the queues okay that uh, that are in the operating system now let's say there is ready queue that means all the processes which is in ready queue are ready for its execution so any one process is selected any one process now how it is selected which process will be selected on which parameters on basis of what it depends on what type of algorithm what type of scheduling algorithm you are using okay so we will discuss later later on in some another video series so over here any one process is selected and it gets cpu now whenever this particular process is being executed there are two there are two possibility that means this process is can be either complete so it finish its execution and just exit from the system if it is not executed in particular uh, for some reason okay so there are certain possibility for example this process can be suspended due to io request it can be suspended or uh, it can be just interrupted due to time slice expiration or this particular process have created child process or uh, there are some another reason some system interrupt it can be occur due to that reason this process has to stop its execution so whenever this per this uh, causes occur this process has to stop its execution okay and for example if this process is waiting for some interrupt to occur and when the, whenever this interrupt occur again it comes into ready queue okay and if child process is created then if there are there is requirement that child process get first completed so once child process is executed so again this process comes to ready queue after that if time slice is expired then you, this process just come to the ready queue okay and if this particular process is waiting for io request and for example printer and it gets it printer and do the task and after that again it perform its io operation and after that to resume its operation it further execution it just come to the ready queue okay so this is the these are the types of uh, queue in the operating system and uh, okay so this is all about process scheduling and it is just introductory type of video so you just need to clear certain things for example what are the queues related to processes what are the parameters that needs to be considered while designing scheduling algorithm what is process scheduling itself okay so thanks for watching bye bye